đó con này I really appreciate all my subscribers and my viewers who are following me from day one. I would like to give out a free video where I will be showing you how to diagonalize your motherboard. I have a Dell motherboard here. I will show you every step on how to find the shots on the motherboard or if your motherboard is not charging, maybe you have fake charging. I will show you step by step how to fix such issue. Before I will dive into the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell and also drop a comment in the comment section. Yeah, I have a motherboard, third motherboard here. From here, before you can start diagonizing the motherboard or troubleshooting the motherboard, you first of all check the battery if the battery is bringing out the normal voltage in some cases we have nearby the battery gives 11 volt point something current upward Some system they will not show charging indicator in the indicator light. Before you can troubleshoot the motherboard, you first of all need to check the charging port. If the charging port is broken or if it is bad, here you can see. We have a charging port here. You first of all need to check the port. If the port is okay, and you make use of your multimeter to find out where the problem is coming from. I have my multimeter here, which I'm going to be setting my multimeter to 20 DC, which is direct current. set my multimeter to 20 DC which is 20 direct current so if you want to troubleshoot such issue maybe you are having charging error or you are having fake charging once you have set your multimeter to 20 volt you will use your black pole on the ground, you put your black pool on the ground and you put your red pool on the positive of the charging connector. You can see here we have I've put my positive, uh, my, sorry, my black pool which is negative on the ground on any meter. Here, here is called the ground. Here is called the ground. We have the ground here, the ground, the ground. Here is also known as the ground. Here you can also use here as the ground. Every year on the board. Here is also known as the ground. Here is also known as the ground. You can also even use this um, heat stink as the ground also. So I'm going to use my black hood on the gun. I'm going to put it on the gun. I've already set my multimeter to 20 volts. Then I will use my black hood on the. I'll put my black hood on the positive of the pinout of 
the charging port then i should be having either 19 volt or 15 volt if you are having below this voltage you should know that is either the charger is faulty or the connector is faulty so that is where troubleshooting starts if you if you have 19 volt volt or the maximum voltage you are supposed to have in on the board you should know that okay this board is working the charging the charger is working properly then you move to the next step if you want to move to the next step you look you go straight to the mosfets you can see here we have the here we have the charging ports and here is where we have our mosfets that control the charging cycle of the laptop that regulate every voltage of the um, charger, the current, everything, and make everything to function properly. So, if the voltage comes in here and you have 19 volts, then you move to the next step, which we are going to troubleshoot the MOSFET. In most cases, we have uh, for when the MOSFET is 40, the voltage will be short. The voltage will not flow to the other part of the board. So, if you want to find a short MOSFET or the 40 MOSFET on a motherboard, you use the same method as I show you earlier before now which you are going to use your black probe on the ground and your red probe to find the, the faulty circuit on the board so if I want to look for the faulty circuit on the board I already placed my black probe on the ground then my red probe to find the short IC because I'm just showing this showing you this as a particle I'm going to put my my multimeter on the boost mode to know if the MOSFET is faulty so I'm going to do it this way. Let me put my mod, let me put my mod meter here so that you can see what I'm doing. The, we have our thermal fuse here which is R010 the thermal fuse shows that it's ok so we move to the next step Before you start 
working before you start reading a MOSFET, you must understand how the MOSFETs work. Let me bring the board closer so that you can see how the MOSFETs look like. You can see a dot on the MOSFET. The dot means the first point which is the gate. this MOSFET you can see here we have the first dots so this is where the point flow from the point flows from here then it send out signal at the other four pin and we have the signal port which is this last one you can see here this three legs are bridged together and this other one is not together this last one this last leg sends signal to the board okay there is a current on this board and I want you to know that okay, with this current is so so voltage, so so voltage. So that is what this fourth pin does. So that is how you are going to troubleshoot a MOSFET on a motherboard. So I'm going to jump into another section where we are we have our capacitor we have our capacitor you can also troubleshoot your capacitor by setting your multimeter to boost before you, you do this you need to understand how the capacitor how it works and the voltage the maximum voltage and the minimum voltage some capacitor we have minimum voltage of 0.55 volt 1.5 volt 2.5 volts and maximum of 5 volts so you need to understand how the capacitor work before you make any attempt to so that is that for that if you want to read the capacitor you need to set your multimeter to boost mode you need to set your multimeter to boost mode your The trick on how to read the capacitor is you place your red probe on the ground and your black probe on the multimeter, on the capacitor, sorry. We have 5 points. Anywhere you are having infinity number, you should know that the capacitor is faulty. Here, I have 5, 7, 8. The other side, I have also the same voltage. Yeah, I have the same voltage. I have the same voltage. You can see. We have the same. Sorry. You 
like and see. The voltage of this, the number, the number display on the multimeter is not as same as this. Check this also. You see? You can see. We have a boost sound. So. The fault, the, the issue, the problem from this motherboard is from this capacitor. So we are going to replace the capacitor. You can see I have a boost sound telling me that this capacitor is not good for that you see and so we have low voltage here to replace this capacitor and after replacing the capacitor I must tell you that everything on this board will be working perfectly please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also give me a like and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section see you in my next video thank you